so I just got home. We had this thing called Meet the Warrior Night, um, where like all the teams, like all the football teams, soccer teams, uh, cheerleaders, volleyball teams, all those groups uh, get introduced. So, and that was right at seven o'clock, and my practice ended at six thirty. So. So I haven't been home since this morning before school. So I don't know, I have homework. So I don't know how much, I don't know if I'm gonna be, get to edit this vlog. I still have to take a shower. I don't know if I'm gonna get to edit this vlog or if homework is gonna take up too much of that time. I don't know. So I'll try to vlog as much as I can. This vlog most likely will be eight or nine minutes not exactly ten but i don't know for sure i don't even know if it's gonna get up just because i'm gonna be busy doing homework and getting shower getting a shower and stuff so i don't know it's all up in the air at this point so i realized yesterday's vlog didn't even get up so i don't have to get this vlog up so um even though i'm mad that it didn't get up for some odd reason i don't even know why i didn't but it it's actually okay. I don't have to worry about edit this, editing this vlog tonight or anything. So I'm I'm okay with it for this time. You know, it's 9:42. I would like to be in bed by 11:30. Still have a little bit of homework. It's not that much, and I still have to get a shower. So I guess I'm on time. My homework should only take me half hour, if that, and my shower 20 minutes. So that's 50 minutes of the. Uh, of the hour and 15 minutes I have, so that should be okay. Just got done with homework. It took a lot longer than I expected because I had more than I expected I did. So yeah, that was a problem. Um, that's that's the uh, problem with being a, I guess an unorganized student because you know everything that's going on. <laughs> and I try to be organized, but it just doesn't happen. So I'm gonna go to bed. It's a quarter to 12. I need to go to bed, I need to fall asleep and wake up early again for school, and then I have a four day weekend, um, yeah, well of course after after school tomorrow I have football, but it's a, uh, it's an easy day because it's the day before a game, which I'm also super nervous about because I might get killed. <laughs> so I just got home from my game, and uh, the score was 47 to 12 them. Now considering this team, like I said in previous vlogs, um, or even the, and maybe even this vlog, I can't remember, but they haven't lost a, conf lost a conference game, so basically a regular season game since 2009. So we were put up to a pretty big test tonight, and I think we did a, a pretty well job considering those, those uh, pieces of information there they they had a very physically tough team but I don't think they were that mentally tough I don't know because I didn't get any playing time but they were very physically tough and um, I don't think it was that part that uh, that got to us because we we played we played very physical as well um, I don't know what part got us like I don't know what word, but like, I don't know why, I don't even know, you know what I'm trying to say, hopefully, it doesn't even matter if you don't, but whatever. So, the, ju the junior varsity team has the game at um, uh, the team we played, so we play away. Um, but honestly, I have a good feeling about that game tomorrow. I feel like our JV team can beat their JV team. Because, I don't know, I've never heard anything about their JV team. And their JV team wasn't even at the varsity game. So it's almost like they treat them as separate teams. So, I don't know. It's weird. Like, their JV must not have to be at the varsity games like we do. It's kind of weird. But... I'm glad we can be at the varsity games, you know, be on the sidelines. It's cool, but I do miss being in the stands. That was always fun. And, you know, as long as I keep playing, I'm never going to have that experience ever again. I didn't really realize that last year 
when I was at my last game at the last game, but didn't really think about that. But I don't know. I I really now that I'm into football, like now that it's into the season, I don't feel like taking a year off. I want to just go all four years and you know just play because it's really the only sport that I'm I can honestly say that I'm good at. So I'm just out here listening to Eminem's new song, Guts Over Fear. If you haven't heard that song, you really gotta look it up and listen to it. Um, I know everybody doesn't like rap, you know, rap isn't the music for everybody, but this is a song that it's not really like a hardcore kind of rap, like it's a song where I can't really tell if the mood is like sad or what the mood is, it's just like a it's really weird, but it is a very good song. Um, like, plus this could be one of Eminem, Eminem's last song, depending on if his new album Shady XV is his last song or not. My thoughts are that he's that this is not his last song, his last album. I, I said I said song that whole time, didn't I? I meant album. I don't think it'll be his last album because, for one, it's like a collaboration slash greatest hits. Um, it's a, it's a. Sorry, I'm trying to read some stuff. It's a, it's a collaboration slash greatest hits album from like everybody signed on Shady Records. Uh, which is Eminem's uh, regular label, um, but also it does have some new stuff by Eminem, I think. So, I I think his next album that's just all all of his uh, uh, his new stuff. I think that's gonna be his last album, but God knows when that's gonna be uh, released. I don't even know. It's songs like this that make me want to be a rapper like it's kind of one of those songs that motivates me to rap you know so I don't know like it, it, it's a really really good song like the thing I don't know this song like makes me think a couple of things like either he's like trying to like prepare his fans for and prepare himself for the end of his career or maybe this is just something he wrote he wrote this song when he was like processing all that has happened in his career and stuff I don't I mean the way this song is like the words it makes it sound like it is a part of one of his closing songs but once again, this could be just be something that he felt like he needed to get out, you know, of his system. Something that he needed to get off his chest, and you know, just or so, something he just felt like writing about or something. Like whenever I I write uh, raps, like I'll write write the song on my album or one of these singles that I'm planning on. Um, I I write what I'm in the mood for. Um, like right now I'm kind of in like the triumphant mood you know something to, to write something like to write something that's really not like really really hardcore rap but like something that's very motivated like you know something like that that's what I feel like writing something like that not something sad not something really really pumpy but something that has a lot of motivation in it so I don't know what song on the album is going to be and you guys can't help me because you don't know any songs on the album yet <laughs> well it's 11 o'clock so that means it's end of the vlog time and I also just want to edit this vlog and then get in the shower and then go to bed because I have to get up pretty early around 7.30 uh, to go to my game I have to be up at the school at 8 o'clock we'll probably leave 8.30 something like that Alright, well, wish me luck tomorrow. Hopefully we get the win. I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's vlog actually is going to be really fun because I'm having um, John and Josh over. And then we're going to Dylan's and then they're sleeping over. So, 
It'll be a good vlog. Alright, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Peace on the streets. Tonight was my first varsity game. It wasn't a good experience, but I'll build on it. It's fun.